Couple of quid for the homeless, mate. They never really see you. For years, it's always been the same. 25, come to think of it. 25. That's how long it's been since anyone really saw me. I used to be somebody once, you know. I wasn't rich or anything, but I was suited and booted every day. Every morning I'd come down, kiss the wife and kids would go by and go and climb the corporate ladder. The only problem was, I was too much of a rebel. Of course, that's a load of bollocks. It was the drink. I just loved the drink. I drank so much, people stopped seeing me. <laughs> Fancy that? I mean, yeah, yeah, sometimes they stop and give you a couple of quid. Sometimes they stop and have a chat, but it wasn't me they were talking to. It wasn't Barry. Hello, homeless person. Are you cold? Are you hungry? Do you live out here on your own? Without a bed? Of course I'm cold and hungry. I'm fucking homeless. And do you see a bed? They're not asking me though. They don't think I might be a human being. With hopes, dreams, desires and thoughts. No. Just a homeless thing. Pity me or spit on me. Just give me a couple of quid so I can get pissed and go to sleep. Because I live out here on my own. But the homeless, the druggies, the whores, and the monsters that scream all night and stab you as soon as look at you. Couple of quid for the homeless, mate. Nice car. I wasn't always like this. Like I said before, I was going places. Nothing like my old man. I didn't have to wash my hands every time I finished work. People could see me just fine. But I've always been a drinker. That's the only thing I ever got off my own man. I had the house, the car, family. I met Trisha when I was 16. Never loved anyone else. She was so beautiful. Should have seen her on our wedding day. Do you know that word, radiant? I didn't know what it meant until I saw her that day. We were 18 when we got married. She wasn't knocked up or out. We just loved each other. It's love at first sight. Then we rented our first place, and we had our boys, Jason and Callum. They'll be in their thirties now. I wonder what they're doing. I don't see them anymore. I don't even know what any of them were up to. But the nineties though, they were great fun. We had holiday every year. Like the year we went to Greece. <laughs> Jason got his head stuck in the balcony railings. We had to put baby oil on his head in his ears to get him out. Or the year we went to Spain. <laughs> I drank the water. Trisha told me not to, but guess what? I didn't listen. We went to the pool one day and I shat myself in the water. <laughs> like an oil slick it was. All brown and made of shit. Drunk. Of course I was. We both were. Well, Tisha was tipsy. But we laughed a lot then. Tisha laughed like a drain. Oh, I love that. We didn't laugh for long though. The more I drank, the less she laughed.
I wondered if she's still beautiful. I like to think so. I hope she's happy. I can remember her face like it was yesterday. I miss the boys too. But I can't remember their faces. I try to, but it just slips away. Or they start looking like somebody else. I don't know. Maybe it's the drink. I wonder if they think about me. I hope not. Ah, the booze. The nectar of the gods and all that. I've got my booze and I'm all right. Feeling cold? Have enough of this and you'll warm right up. Bit hot and dry. Lovely. Get pissed enough and you don't feel it when some lads on a night out decide to kick the shit out of a, a homeless nobody. Because their lives are fucked. Or they're angry. Or drunk. They're just bored. When they're done. And they're tired. And their legs are sore from the kicking the shit out of you. It helps to be so fucking drunk. So you don't worry about where you're going to wake up. Whether it's on the street, in the hospital, or even dead. Nothing hurts when you're drunk. Well, of course, you finish it, and then you sober in the morning. We'll get a couple of quid by lunchtime, and you're right back to your happy place. You're never alone when you're pissed, so it doesn't matter if people can't see you. Fuck it, right? Trish, you couldn't hack it anymore. If it wasn't the drink, it was the gambling. And if it wasn't the gambling, it was the drinking and the gambling. I used to get confident when I was pissed. Never back to winner though. And even if I did, I only pissed it up the wall again. So she took the kids and left. I begged her to stay. I told her that it never happened again and I'd change, but she left anyway. It wasn't like I hadn't promised her once before. Every time I said I'd stop. Every time I said it'd be different. I'd stop drinking. Stop gambling. I'd stop. I'd stop hitting. I didn't mean to hurt him. I didn't want to hurt him. I just got so angry. So angry. The slightest thing, I'd get angry. And they'd push me and push me. No, oh, that's not right. It was me. It was all me. If I could just take one thing back, it'd be that. Bursting for a week. Oh god, I don't know where you're gonna go around here. What? What's that? What is it? I don't know. Hello, you alright? Is he alright? I don't know. It's dead to the world, doesn't it? Yeah. Roll him over. You bloody roll him over. He might 
might be ill or something. Well, I don't want to bloody catch anything. You roll him over. Well, just bloody do it. I think he's dead. It looks like it. Well, throw in a bloody ambulance or police or something. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, OK, okay, I'm going to. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's piss. Oh, he's covered in piss. Uh, sorry, sorry, no, I'm talking to someone Can else. Me, um, ambulance, please. You never see me. Ever. Have you got a wipe? Why would I have a wipe? I don't know, but I need something. It stinks. Um, yeah, ambulance, please. We're on Clarence Road. Yeah, just behind Fanners, number 45, there's a car park. No, it's not for me. Yeah, it's someone else. It's a homeless guy. You've walked past me yeah, I think he's, um, every day I think for he's two dead, fucking actually. years. And now you see me. Fucking assholes. Is he breathing? Don't look like it. No. Yeah, all right, I'll check. Just check. They want you to check. They want you to bloody check. Just check. No. No, he's not breathing. What should we do? All right, yeah, we can wait. Do I know him? No, never seen him before. 